Hey guys, welcome to a new video. We're going to be showcasing Ultimate Auto Restart for today's plugin showcase, but I want to mention I did get a new mic, so hopefully you guys can tell the difference uh, between my voice quality in this video. So let me know if you guys like it. I have gotten the, the Blue Snowball. It's a nice little compact mic, and uh, I think it sounds really good for uh, for the quality and the price. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, so I'm looking forward to making uh, the videos uh, with this new mic, and I think it sounds really good. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into the plugin showcase. Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and Discord with the links below. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a startup or a race car script uh, for your home hosted server. Most uh, hosting providers already have this script and so what the plugin does is that it looks for that script and then it utilizes it and it uh, automatically restarts the server. So with this plugin you can set up schedules and you can set up alerts, you can set up notifications and you can also hook on with Bungie Cord as well so you can send uh, the players to the hub while like, uh, like Skyblock or Survival is restarting or something. So that's a really nice feature so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up a restart script. So if you're running a home hosted server, uh, here is pretty much your, your Java code that you're going to be using uh, to start up your server in the in the very beginning. So uh, if you guys don't know what this means, basically this is uh, saying Java, this is a one gigabyte uh, for my maximum, one gigabyte for my minimum. I have a jar and uh, just this is what the, the server is going to be looking for uh, for my server. So it's server.jar and so this is the the basically the paper spigot that is going to be looking at to check to make sure that that is the server and it's going to start it up. So if you want to make the the auto restart script, uh, all you really have to do is uh, go ahead and put a colon and you can type this run or you can type it uh, start or whatever you want. So we can go ahead and uh, type like uh, auto restart or something. So we'll do auto restart and then at the very end, uh, you don't have to put this pause if you don't want to. Uh, I, I like to put it uh, just for my case, but for this instance, uh, and then we're going ahead and say go to uh, auto start all right go ahead and save that now we can save that as uh, a run dot bat because that is the batch file so uh, in game uh, the command is slash auto restart and that gives you all the different types of things that you can see so if we do auto restart and then we can see the time that it uh, has so it's basically uh, 10 hours is auto restart time and all this is configurable uh, and changeable in the config I'll show you guys that in a second but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, test this out so let's go to do auto restart now and then we can enter the interval so let's do like uh, five okay so as you see it says five and then uh, it gives us a little sounds and messages in game which is really nice but as you see in uh, council as you see <laughs> everything is going up but it says auto restart here and then it just uh, close the server and it says go to auto restart and then uh, here's what we put in the code and everything is uh, starting back up automatically so that's what it looks like from council perspective and there we go everything else is loading up as it should which is uh, working so make sure you keep in mind that if you don't have the auto restart script then the, this plugin will not work because that is what it looks for when it uh, auto restarts the server so uh, make sure that you if you're running on your home make sure it is uh, set up properly and then typically most hosts uh, automatically have that so you don't really need to worry but let's go ahead and check out the config real quick so let me go switch over to my other screen so as I mentioned that this does have a, a built-in a bungee cord plugin that you will need so it is a, another uh, add-on that you can use and it is free and you would put that add-on on the bungee Cord server, and then when uh, the restart settings uh, happen, you can just remove this hashtag if you are using a server network. Basically, it is saying that uh, this is the bungee, so make sure it's executed from the bungee cord, and you're sending all the players from the Skyblock server because that is going to be restarted to the lobby or the hub or whatever you want. So it is really well documented all right here. All you have to do is just uh, look up here if you want to use that. But this is the, the commands that it, it does. So it says the save all and then it just executes the restart command, which is really nice. And so here you can set up different times. Uh, so keep in mind that wherever your machine uh, is hosted, that is the, the time that's going to be looking at. So say your your server is hosted in like the UK or uh, in Sweden or so, somewhere and you're uh, playing in the US, then make sure you, you go check those times make sure sure that you want the time to be accurate so make sure you do that and you can check the format up here which is day hour minute and then so this will be uh, Friday at 20 2300 or 11 p.m. so and then here are messages intervals if you want sounds enabled and here's the specific sound make sure you use the correct sound ID for your Minecraft uh, version and then here's the the different sounds and here's the formatting 
And then here are some messages as well. So there's uh, intervals, so you can like check the specific interval. So uh, if you want the action bar, so let's go ahead and set that to true. And then it also comes with titles. Uh, so that is really nice. So that alerts all the players on the server that it's going to be restarting in uh, like X amount of uh, seconds or minutes or hours, however you set it up. And then uh, here it sends in the council. And so I'm just going to head and change this to true just to show you guys uh, that it is very nice to see it in game. So let's go ahead and change that to true. And then here is the force restart. And then you get here is you can change all the different types of messages. But so that's pretty much everything. So here is the messages, the formatting, and the settings. Uh, it's pretty well documented and it works very well, very easy to customize. And it just does a really good job of auto uh, starting your server. So uh, let's go ahead and save this and then let's go ahead and test it. You can do auto restart, uh, reload, and that will reload all your configurations. So make sure uh, you uh, restart your server if you added new entries. Uh, the only thing I added uh, in addition is just I added a 5 and a 4 to the countdown. So let's go ahead and see if that works. So we'll do auto restart uh, now, and we can do like a 5 or something. So we can go ahead and do 5 seconds. As you see, we get the titles, the messages, and the sounds. And there we go. Everything is working really, really nicely. So it will go ahead and restart my server. And there we go. It is restarted. And let's go ahead and check council real quick. So as you see, here is the command that I just issued, and it uh, says that in council, this is what happens. So we start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, etc. And then uh, it just uh, go ahead and uh, close down the server, and then it went to the auto restart, and it loaded back up. So anyways, so that is how this plugin works, just automatically restarts our server, and it has a nice uh, features that you can schedule the restarts in the different times, and it alerts everyone on the server. So hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know uh, what other videos you want to see next. Leave a like down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.